take the first step. All it takes is the first step. Join the 90 Day Body by Vi Challenge and we will help you take the first step to a happier, healthier life. With, uh, As part of Native Awareness Week at the U of L, Mayor of Calgary Naheed Nenshi spoke via video conference. Among the issues he discussed were attitudes regarding issues surrounding coexistence and cooperation. We can maintain good relationships with those folks who are closest neighbors. Marcel Twig says that housing is the pressing issue he'd like to see dealt with in Lethbridge. Be uh, affordable housing, not just for Aboriginal people, but uh, for a whole city. Linda Menigans, professor at the university and moderator of the session, says her dream is unity among the people involved to bring results. I'd like to see a common understanding and, and a united uh, uh, methodology kind of develop out of this so that the Aboriginal voice is heard and so that people can come together in, in order to engage in, in creating new solutions. Twig says he's grateful the city of Lethbridge is willing to be involved the city has to become involved, which is a positive thing they are. For E! News, I'm Elaine Indenbosch. Well, it's official. Yep, we're licensed. I can't believe how easy it was at Lethbridge Vehicle License and Registry. I can't believe it was only $69. I think this deserves a toast. Alice in Wonderland is making its way to the Lethbridge stage, the St. Francis Junior High School stage, that is. The grade 7, 8, 9 performing arts students have been preparing since November in order to showcase their talents. The students say they have different reasons for joining. I like singing and dancing. Well, I've been doing it ever since grade 7, and it's just really fun to hang out with your friends and be on stage. Ever since my sisters were in the play um, when they were in the uh, St. Francis, I've always wanted to be in it, especially seeing like my sisters were in the high school musical and I just thought that would be so fun. I've been in the play for two years and last year I really liked it, so I decided to try out again. Director and teacher at St. Francis Junior High, Dino Caputo, says going to one of their plays is like going to see skilled actors. You're coming to watch professional theater put on by junior high kids. You're not coming to watch a junior high production. With their first performance coming up quick, Caputo says that they will be working hard till the day they go on stage. It seems that the actors have mixed feelings about opening night. Yeah, really nervous. <laughs> kind of, but not really. I'm excited. Caputo says that it is going to take about 300 hours to get the set ready, even with teacher and parent volunteers. He says once it's done, it's amazing to just stand back and wonder how it ever was just the gymnasium. It's really something you've got to see. The Alice in Wonderland actors say that they enjoy being a part of the production. I enjoy it. It's really fun. It's really fun. There's lots of work to do, though, too. Sometimes it's nerve-wracking, and people are watching you all the time, but I love the role, and I love drama, so it's really awesome. For E! News, I'm Angelica Alston. Come see the play? Yeah, it'll be good. Dream big. Dream luxury. Whether it's your first home or your last, Galco Homes offers their experience in custom home building. They help make your dream home come true. Book yourself an appointment to meet with one of the designers. Galco Homes, they're simply better. The pediatric ward at the hospital isn't where most kids dream of going. Despite its colorful looks and friendly atmosphere, there's just nothing fun about getting vaccinations and blood work done. However, child and youth care students are hoping to bring a bit of fun to the ward through an assignment. Child and youth care student Brittany Janicki, along with others in her group, put on a toy drive this week at the college. Janicki says the drive is an assignment, but getting to help kids is what it's all about. We thought helping kids would be a good idea, and we thought working for the pediatric ward would be an awesome, yeah. The group managed to get other local businesses to help out. Diners at Swiss Chalet and Montana's can donate their money in drop boxes located in the restaurant. Janicki says the money will be used to buy new toys. In the playroom, we have puzzles and games for the Child life specialist at the pediatric ward, Maria Malcolm, says that most games and toys donated have to be ones that can be played by children who are bedridden. She says that toys can make a child stay at the ward much better. They just get a big grin on their face and they usually look at their mums and dads like, oh, wow, they've got things for me to play with here. And then I do have volunteers and myself that we can go in and actually play with the kids and, and help make their stay here at hospital a little bit better. 
Malcolm says although they have quite a few puzzles and games, many of them are old. So any help from the college would be great. You know, going into the end of February, March here, we're getting lower on our supplies. And so the toy drive from the college at this time is a great time. Um, For E! News, I'm Chris Bestplug. Two weeks ago, a 19-year-old boy was hit by a train when walking home. Police believe the resident of Leduc was hit from behind. Eight days later, a 27-year-old man was hit by a locomotive near Banff. With similar incidents in a short time span, it seems younger generations may not understand the dangers of trains. This young woman grew up in a small Alberta town with tracks running through it. She says it took a serious accident to realize the potential threat. This is our main highway, so the tracks were like along. Here. Growing up at home and at school, they always told us to um, stay away from the trucks because they're so dangerous and we didn't know the effect of them until there was an accident and then it scared us even more. CP Rail representative Kevin Hersack says safety is the company's number one priority. We do take this uh, very seriously. Uh, you know, the, the two incidents that were involved on our lines were unfortunately uh, not at crossings uh, and on our property uh, where individuals are walking uh, on the tracks. You know, it's definitely uh, something that we're looking into uh, and trying to help get the word out a little stronger. Uh, Police suggest all of the accidents could have been avoided. The victims were reportedly wearing headphones and using electronic devices while walking on the tracks. It is believed their music was so loud it drowned out the sound of squealing brakes and horns. With newer technology, trains are quieter than ever before. Trains can also extend a meter or more beyond the track. For E! News, I'm Fallon Wagner. Get fired up with the Mongoli Grill. With hundreds of different meal combinations that are cooked fresh, you can have it just the way you like. Located across from Center Village Mall on 5th Ave South, for a healthy alternative, choose the Mongoli Grill. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Can I get a t-shirt? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. One day every February, for the past few years, Lethbridge College Business Administration student Amber Siemens has supported Pink Shirt Day, a day which was created to help raise awareness and support against anti-bullying, a cause that Siemens feels is important to support since she knows firsthand how impactful bullying can be, as she and other family members experience this as kids. My brother had a pretty tough time growing up. There was a lot of kids that bullied him and our last name was actually quite a good reason for people to bully him, especially. For me, it wasn't as bad. However, Siemens isn't the only student who feels it's important to increase awareness against bullying, as multimedia student Shelby Sawyer says she too has had to deal with this issue. A few years ago, um, when I was at my old, when I was um, at the Nicholas Aaron Park, um, some kids were trying to like take me out of my wheelchair and like take it for a spin and all that. Lethbridge College Students Association events coordinator Aaron Chubb says the reason the LCSA got involved with Pink Shirt Day is because bullying exists on campus. Well it's a campaign that's really picked up across the country and we decided to do it at Lethbridge College because bullying just doesn't happen in uh, primary and high schools. It can also happen at a post-secondary level as well. With other forms of bullying now being identified as problems like cyberbullying, Siemens feels it's more important than ever to wear a pink t-shirt since this cause impacts so many people. There's so many people that are suffering every day from bullying. There's girls on YouTube posting videos of how people are so cruel to them and boys as well. It's girls and boys and it's not fair to those people that did that and it's not fair to their families or nothing. Then I have to finish the report, make supper, and oh, look at this place. I should go to Nikolai Home Fashion. I could decorate this place like it deserves. Nikolai Home Fashion, let your style out. Live Strong is a campaign that was launched to engage communities through challenges and healthy living. And here at the college, it's had an impact on the lifestyles of students and not just being active. Campaign participant Raina Tresser says that ever since she started the Live Strong lifestyle, she's had positive results in all areas of her life. 
It's helped me keep um, a healthy lifestyle and do better in my studies and just stay physically active. As Livestrong is a motivator for healthier life decisions, it's also a fundraising campaign in the fight against cancer. The college is doing its part in an effort to raise money for cancer research. Relay for Life is an event hosted by the Lethbridge College Students Association, which involves staying up all night and running around a track as a relay team. My mom passed away from cancer and I've joined Relay for Life and I feel like it's a great cause. This iconic yellow bracelet has become a symbol of hope for those affected by cancer around the world and at the college. And with Relay for Life coming soon, it will give students a chance to live strong and raise money while doing so. For E! News, I'm Justin Lazorka. First degree murder, 25 years in prison. Abortion, a lifetime of regret. Each and every child is precious. Every beating heart matters. We need our children to carry on the next generation. Adopt, don't abort. A message from Prolife. Meet Brian McCullen. He is five years old. That is, according to the leap year. He was born on February 29, 1992, a day which only comes every four years. Brian says he has only truly celebrated his birthday five times in his life. Usually I just try and have a bigger party sort of thing, you know, amp up the fun. Like on the other ones, it's just, you know, I'll do whatever I feel like, but I usually put more planning into this one. And this year I did a five-year-old theme. The Lethbridge Astronomy Society studies why leap years occur. Astronomy Vice President Rena Waugh says it's because of the Earth's movements. The calendar that we use is a calendar that's based on 365 days, but it, it takes longer than 365 days for planet Earth to make one revolution around the Sun. The Astronomy Center says it takes the Earth 365.25 days to actually go around the Sun. So every four years, an extra day is added to even out the extra hours. The actual date of the leap year, February 29th, was decided in the 1600s. This is the 76th leap year, and the next is set to be in 2016. As for Brian, he says he wouldn't change his birthday from February 29th. No, I think it's, it's a lot more fun, you know. It makes it easy for people to remember my birthday at least, you know, they know me. They're like, oh, he's the kid born on a leap year and everything, so. For E! News, I'm Ryan Udewilligan. Gulp offers a great place to eat quality food and meet new, exciting friends. The Gulp is open every Wednesday from 11 to 1 at the College Drive Community Church. With practices in full swing, the Prairie Baseball Academy dogs are spending time bonding as a new team. Meeting as many as five times a week for three-hour sessions, sophomore and freshman players are looking to find the team chemistry that helped them win the Canadian College Baseball Conference last season. Head coach Todd Hubka says it's all about setting goals. A couple weeks ago, we, we put some goals on the board and, and made these guys, you know, come up with some team goals. And, and you know, one of, their, one of their goals is to become a family. The PBA program is a leader in the field, pioneering the first Canadian two-year college baseball league. Sophomore catcher Luke Berry says the program has built a team with many strengths. Well, we have a young team, we have a really light, light, lifely team, a hard-working team that, that uh, a lot of the new guys in the sophomores, hitters from last year, are going to step up and, and do well. Hubka also says the strength of the players contributes to the institution. As we're moving forward, we're starting to get better and better kids here, more developed kids here with all the other academies around Alberta now. Uh, you know, the talent pool is just getting bigger and bigger, and it, which, which makes us a lot stronger, too. So. Although they face American teams in their preseason, the Dogs will face Canadian competition in late March with the start of their regular season. Barry says the bond the team shares is instrumental when it comes time to play. I guess our brotherhood as a team, we, we're really tight in the sense of when we get into step into the lines, it's, it's, it's game time. The team's next big road trip will see them headed to Walla Walla, Washington, where they'll take on the college team there. For E! News, I'm Gabrielle Marchand. Get fired up with the Mongoli Grill. With hundreds of different meal combinations that are cooked fresh, you can have it just the way you like. Located across from Center Village Mall on 5th Ave South, for a healthy alternative, choose the Mongoli Grill. <laughs> 